Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will. I am your boy, Captain Will. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe to Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will so I continue to bring you that gospel of Gamecocks every single day. You are now, family, you are now rocking with the best. And since you're rocking with the best, come rock with your boy, Captain Will. We got to go in today, y'all. We got a good one today, y'all. We are talking about Notre Dame preparation. Notre Dame preparation. The game is November the 6th. Today is November the 3rd. We are three days away. We are three days away. We are two days in a wake up from playing basketball while it matters. Notre Dame, top 10 ranked team in the country. Paris, France, the girls are having a ball. The coaching staff is having a ball. I wish I was there. I wish I was there to take in all the festivities. But your boy, Captain Will, is here. Your boy, Captain Will, is here in Charlotte doing what he does. And with that being said, I need everyone to go tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Go out and support Support Joyce Edwards. Go out and support Joyce Edwards as she uh, looks to claim a volleyball lower state championship for the state of South Carolina. Wear your game caught colors. The game is at 2.30 p.m. Dreer High School. There is so much buzz about recruiting with, with Joyce Edwards being the key headline. So many teams, and I'm talking about LSU, trying to pull out all the stops, all the stops to get the services of one Joyce Edwards. What I'm here to tell you right now, Gamecock love is more than any other love. It is different than any love out there, which includes that LSU love. We're going to show this country girl how we rock at the University of South Carolina by taking over Dreer High School and showing her that we not only want her to win a championship, not only do we want her to win a championship, win a lower state championship, but we want Joyce Edwards to know that we're going to rock with her until the wheels fall off. We're going to take over the, the, the arena, take over the high school gym, take over Dreer High School with Gamecock love so she will know how we feel about her. And all that fake love that's coming out of LSU is not real love. Joyce Edwards, stay at home, my sister. I wish you well tomorrow. Go get that chip. Let's talk some basketball. Let's talk Speaking some of Joyce basketball. Edwards. Speaking of Joyce Edwards, we got to close the deal. We have to close the deal on the services of Joyce Edwards. The number two overall uh, recruit, according to ESPN, I've seen some various other recruiting services that have, us, have her as number one. She is number one to me. She has been number one for, to me for the last year, over a year. Joyce Edwards is a generational player for any basketball team that she chooses, okay? But with that being said, we have to close the deal with her and make sure she's in going in black uniform. We have to make sure it would it would uh, uh, be a sad day next week if Joyce Edwards decide to say that she is going to another school. I will lose my mind, literally figurative of all those leads if she says the LSU Tigers. I will. I will. It would tell me that LSU indeed drove, flew. Whatever way they got to Camden, South Carolina, and dropped that bag, and Joyce decided to follow the NIL money to LSU. That's what it would mean to me. Now, it could be some more extenuating circumstances, but that's how Captain Will feels. But I believe in my heart that Joyce Edwards is going to make the decision, which is a huge decision, huge decision. But I think she's going to make that decision to stay at home just 30 miles from Camden, South Carolina, and play at the University of South Carolina. But we have to close that up. We have to we have to close that gap and make sure that she stays home. We have to do that. So whatever we need to do, we have to do that. That's why I talked about going to 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 Dre High School tomorrow to show her that love. We have to show her that love. Now she knows how, how the Gamecock fans work. She knows that. She's been to multiple games. She's been recruited since the eighth grade. She knows how that goes. But we just need to give that extra oomph, that extra oomph, because LSU is doing everything. 
LSU is doing everything. You got Andrew Reese throwing out tweets, talking, tagging her, talking about this, that, and the third, and she would love to play with her in the fifth year. We know good and damn well that Angel Reese is not coming back next year. We know that. We know she's going to the W. We know that. She is not going to stay in college. She already got the NIL money, and she's going to trans, trans, uh, translate that NIL money to, to bigger money playing for the W. Okay, so I'm not worried about Angel Reese saying that, which makes it really uh, uh, thirsty for the LSU Tigers saying some mess like that because Angel Reese knows she ain't coming back. And if she asks her for Jelani Cambridge and Sarah Strong and, and, and Joyce Edwards, we know she ain't coming back. And these girls know she ain't coming back either. I see uh, uh, Sarah Strong at, at UConn. I see Jelani Cambridge at either Baylor or Ohio State. And I see... Uh, Joyce Edwards at the University of South Carolina, regardless of what LSU is doing, regardless of what they are doing, stooping as low as they might stoop, Joyce Edwards is coming home. Joyce Edwards is coming home. And we have to uh, uh, make sure that happens. We have to make sure that happens. Now, the combination of Joyce Edwards, the number two ranked recruit, Maddie McDaniel, the number what, 10, 12th ranked recruit, and, and Adele, Adele Tack, Number 33rd ranked recruit who is definitely going to increase that ranking over the course of time when the season begins because that girl is a downright beast. Those three players will make us the number one ranked recruiting class for the 2024 class. Right now, ESPN have us as the fifth ranked recruiting class, and that's with Maddie and with Adele. Okay, you throw in Joyce Edwards and potentially a, uh, uh, Kennedy Smith. Who the number one wing in the in, in in the ESPN rankings and the number five ranked player in the country? We're gonna have a generational recruiting class and the recreation of some of those other other great recruiting classes. More more specifically, that 2021 recruiting class where we had the second, third, fourth, and fourteenth ranked players in the country. Okay, so the the the, the writings on the wall, the the uh, uh, early signing period starts November the eighth. We've been talking about that for a couple months. A lot of outlets ain't talking about the early signing period, much like Cap the Will does. But that early signing period starts November the eighth, November the fifteenth. These girls will be signing the dotted line really, really soon. November the eighth, we play uh, we play Notre Dame. November the sixth, on that Wednesday starts the early signing. Period. Okay? Some girls are gonna be gonna be committing on November the 8th. On Wednesday. So it's gonna be a huge show. Wednesday, when we go live at 8 o'clock p.m. It's gonna be a huge show. Hopefully, on that show, we were talking about the commitments of Kennedy Smith and Joyce Edwards. So it's it's, it's gonna be going down. The girls play the game on Monday, come back, and then it's go time. It's go time. It's already been go time, but it's really turbo go time to make sure Kennedy Smith and, and Joyce Edwards understands, understands how important it is to be a South Carolina game cop. They already know. They already done official visits, but they've done multiple official visits all across the country because they're top players. You're talking about two of the top five ranked players in the country who's going to make a team very happy. The most difficult for one for me is Kennedy Smith. That's the most difficult one for me because she lives in California. Uh, uh, Dawn Staley uh, not only had her as official visit a few weeks ago, but also flew out to California after the official visit to make sure everything was G to G, make sure everything was good to go with her possibly signing with the Gamecocks this upcoming week. This is going to be... Uh, monumental if we can get a player from California, but not only a player from California, but a player the caliber of a Kennedy Smith, six foot one, who could do everything with the basketball and would be the ideal fit for a South Carolina basketball player playing offense and defense. Yes, she's a two way player. Yes, that is a, a, a cool term that we say now, but she loves offense as much as she loves defense. She's a baller. Who can shoot the three? Who can handle the ball? Who can do the mid-range? Who can rebound? Who can pass the ball? And who will lock you up on defense? That is Kennedy Smith. That is the, a, 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 a quote-unquote must-get for the South Carolina Gamecock women's basketball team. And from what I'm hearing, it's between South Carolina and UCLA. 
That is the scuttlebutt that I'm hearing, that I'm hearing, UCLA and the University of South Carolina. So we are the final two. If we are the final two, we have to show her why flying across the country, leaving your family, leaving all your uh, uh, natural surroundings and coming across to South Carolina, Columbia as much and make sure that that is what uh, 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 that tough decision and having uh, 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 an Uber code pick up Joyce Edwards from Camden because it ain't that far. So Uber can come pick her up and take her. And I'm talking about, and you know, if 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 if, if Kim Moki is picking her up in a in a in a white Mercedes, I'm talking about sending an Uber of a stretch limbo, a stretch Hummer, a uh, uh, whatever the case may be, a Lamborghini. However, the Uber stuff works. That's what needs to happen with one Joyce Edwards. We need to we need to close. The, the gap and make sure that we get the services of Joyce Edwards. Make sure we get the services of Kitty Smith. It is so important. It is so important. Welcome home early. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying welcome home early to one of these two ladies or hopefully both of these two ladies let's talk some notre dame and that super freshman hannah the clip you just saw how special she is five foot six player of the year new jersey fifth ranked player in the 2023 class super duper awesome awesome player she's really good and the clip you just saw was from team usa when she was playing with joyce edwards and and our own chloe kids yeah she was all she was special she was special this summer i cannot lie about that she is a really really good player and she's going to be really good for Notre Dame okay so with Olivia Miles not playing there are minutes to be had and one Hannah Hidalgo is seeking those minutes and is going to play a lot against the Gamecocks on Monday how do we stop how do we slow down how do we minimize this super freshman well stopping minimizing slowing down this super freshman is not a easy task. It's not an easy task. She's a talented player. She's a talented player. But Gamecocks has, has been known to play sensational defense. Gamecocks have been known to play sensational defense, regardless of what year you might call out. We've always played defense well. We've always played defense well. And and, 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 and regardless of we lost, we've lost generational defensive players in Aaliyah Boston and 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 and, and Bree Bill. The cover does not bear defensively because the defensive principles still remain. This team, this team that we have in South Carolina is faster than the team we've had over the past two, three years. Yes, this team is faster than the last two, three years. We have wings with length on this basketball team. We have a, a, a slew, a slew of wings that can cover Hannah. We do. Now, so my my uh way of thinking, my ba my basketball basketball mind is thinking that um with Hannah, 
the 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 way to slow her down because this is the first. Now I know she played with Team USA. Played with Team USA, great international uh, 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 environment. But this is big time Division One basketball. Big time Division One basketball, and you playing the elite basketball program over the last five years. The elite basketball program. Not LSU. No one has that claim on the South Carolina. Not LSU. Not UConn. Not Ohio State. Not Notre Dame. Not Iowa. None of those programs. You talking about South Carolina. Okay? So playing the elite of a team with the aura of a South Carolina women's basketball team coached by head coach Don Staley is going to be a task for her, all right? For any freshman, for any freshman, regardless of what they did in high school, or regardless of what they played in the, uh, in, in for Team USA. For any freshman coming in, freshman phenom or not, coming in, it's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be difficult. Because the Gamecocks have been game planning for Hannah. The Gamecocks have been game planning for her. For her specifically. Now I know Sonia Centron is the uh Centron is the, the, the leading returning score. And they've been game planning for her as well. But Hannah with the ball in the hands because Olivia Miles, who led the team in assists and rebounds, is not playing. Hannah would have the ball in the hands a lot. So if she's gonna have the ball in the ball in her hands a lot, I'm seeing uh uh a player like Raven Johnson, who is bigger, who is has the length, face guarding her the whole time. Face guarding her the whole, whole time. You have Raven Johnson, who you can face guard, Hannah Hidalgo, the whole time. The goal is to get the ball out of her hands, right? That's the goal. That's the first step, to get the ball out of her hands. Second goal is to limit her touches, because you're not going to get the ball out of her hands a good portion of the game. It'll be, it'll be times where you're going to get the get the offense going to have to work. The, somebody else is going to have to be a playmaker on Notre, Dame, Notre Dame's offense. But when you, the goal is to limit her, limit the ball in her, in her hands and limit her possessions, right? But when that happens, how about using the length and the speed that we have to maybe trap? How about throw a, uh, some traps? So have, have some trapping with uh, Raven or and, and Bree Hall to limit her space, to limit her mobility, because she's quick as a cat. Quick as a cat. Okay? And then once Raven Johnson goes out the game, you bring in Malaysia Full Wiley, who is bigger, who is five foot ten with long arms, who is also another super duper freshman to put in work on her for 15, 16 minutes. We have depth at the backcourt position, y'all. We have depth at the backcourt position. With Olivia Miles out the basketball game, Notre Dame's depth is nowhere near it would be uh, competing against South Carolina. Okay, so they have depth issues with their best player. Olivia Miles is their best player out the basketball game. So a combination of Raven Johnson, of uh, Bree Hall, who's six foot one. A combination, throw in Malaysia Full Wiley. And I'm going to give you a name. I'm going to give you a name. Who might see some run guarding uh, uh, definitely Sonya Centron. And potentially, in, in, not, in, not, not in space. Not in space. But in some switches. And I'm talking about Sanaya Ja. You're like, oh, you talking about Sanaya Ja? You're talking about the freshman 40th, 40th rank in the, in the 2023 recruiting class? Who is saying six foot one? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sonia Ja has the length and the speed to guard multiple positions on this basketball team, y'all. If you haven't seen it, you will see it. Will we see it on Monday? I'm not sure because I'm not sure how much run she's gonna get. But she could guard. She will guard. Uh, six foot, six foot one, six foot two. Hell, in the exhibition game, South Carolina had her playing down low. I think she, her size and her length will give multiple players problems, including Hannah. 
Not saying that she's as quick as Hannah. I don't want to say nobody come into the comments. Oh, why are you gonna have a, a six foot one uh, uh, potential small forward, power forward guard and Hannah and a dog going space? Gonna make it look crazy. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is her length and her size and her strength will give her problems, will give Citron problems, and will be a different look for the Notre Dame. She is another potential starter in the future, but a potential star as a defensive player because she's the same size as Brie Bill. She's the same size as Brie Bill. Okay? I love Sanaya Jaffa. I do. I love her defensive intensity. I love her tenacity. I love her rebounding. I love her game defensively. I think she's going to be a problem in upcoming games for, quote, unquote, bigger teams. For Hannah Hidalgo, you're going to see a whole lot of Raven Johnson. You're going to see a whole lot of Malaysia Fullwiley. You're going to see a whole lot of Bree, Breezy Hall on her throughout this game. You're going to see us make her work. We're going to, you're going to see some trapping. You're going to see us trying to get the ball out of her hands to make somebody else score. And uh, uh, and Centron can score the basketball. She shot about 40% 40, 40 from, from three. Hannah is a sensational freshman. She is a sensational freshman, and she's going to be a great player in women's college basketball. But this game, this game against South Carolina, will be her quote-unquote welcome to big-time, big-girl basketball. Because Don said they're going to do everything within her power to slow her down and take her out this basketball game. Everything within her power to take her out this basketball game. And I believe the Gamecocks plan will be to face guard her, to trap her, to wear her out, to get her frustrated. And when that happens, South Carolina will eat all day long. This concludes another episode of Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will. I'm your boy. I'm your boy, Captain Will. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe to Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will so you continue to get the gospel of Gamecocks every single day. Go out and support our girl, Joyce Elwood. Show that Gamecocks love. You are now rocking with the best. And since you're rocking with the best, come rock with your boy. Captain Will. Let's go. Oh, J-Rock, let this beat.